Who am I? You sure you want to know? The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. If somebody said it was a happy little tale, if somebody told you I was just your average ordinary guy not a care in the world, somebody lied. them a lot today. I know. I miss him too. But he was there. I can't help thinking about the last thing I said to him. He tried to tell me something important and I threw it in his face. You loved him, and he loved you. You never doubted the man you'd grow into, how you were meant for great things. You won't disappoint him. But the one thing they love more than a hero is to see a hero fail, fall, die trying. In spite of everything you've done for them, eventually they will hate you. Why bother? Because it's right. Flying around like that, saving old girls like me. Lord knows, kids like Henry need a hero. Courageous, self-sacrificing people. Setting examples for all of us. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for them, cheer them, scream their names. And years later, they'll tell how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of the one who taught him to hold on a second longer. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble finally allows us to die we cry, even though sometimes we have to be steady and give up the thing we want the most.
whatever comes our way, whatever battle we have raging inside us, we always have a choice. My friend Harry taught me that. He chose to be the best of himself. It's the choices that make us who we are. And we can always choose to do what's right. But I had no choice. We always have a choice. It should never have hurt you. I've said those things. You were an embarrassment to him. None of that matters, Peter. Best friend. Best friend. Best friend.